Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 7th to the 13th of December 2015. The beginning of the week we have Venus moving into Scorpio and meeting with the Moon, so a very Scorpionic start to the week. Although the Sun is in Sagittarius and we're heading towards the new Moon in Sagittarius by Friday, we've still got some Scorpio energy to clear up first. So Monday, Tuesday, very Scorpionic and we are actually in the sign of Orpheucus, the 13th sign of the Zodiac. So this is a very strange time of year. We're between Scorpio and Sagittarius, really. The dates for Orpheucus are from the 29th of November to the 18th of December every year, as this sign dips its toe into the zodiac wheel as the sun passes at this time of year. There's a lot of confusion on a regular basis with does this mean that we have to adjust to 13 signs? Do we have to adjust so that we're no longer a Capricorn, we're actually an Aquarius or we're no longer an Aries, we're actually a Taurus? But that's simply not the case. The constellations act as markers in the sky and the sun makes its annual journey around the zodiac which is actually divided into 12 equal sections constellations aren't even equal in size so if we went by constellation we would have some signs that are about a week and a half long and others that are about five weeks long so it's not the case that it's the constellation in the sky that determines what sign the sun is in it's more that we've divided the sky into 12 because we work with a 12 month calendar but at this time there is a strangeness as we're actually in that 13th sign of Orpheucus but we don't need to readjust the dates of the other signs accordingly we just need to be aware of this fact so Orpheucus is the serpent handler and the serpent that we're talking about here is the Milky Way so we know that we've just gone through the sign of Scorpio and Halloween especially is all to do with the sun passing over the end of the Milky Way and that's where souls were said to leave this world. Between Taurus and Gemini is the other end of the Milky Way and it's called Milky Way because of the cow of Taurus and this is where souls were said to enter. So we enter near the constellation or the nebula of Orion between Taurus and Gemini and we leave when we choose to between Scorpio and Sagittarius back up the Milky Way in the sign of the serpent handler Orpheucus. So at this time we are heading towards the dark moon in Scorpio just before the new moon in Sagittarius on Friday and it is the darkest time of the year. It's the darkest month before the sun is reborn at the winter solstice and we're in this strange 13th sign. We're heading towards the dark moon as well. So it's very important this week to keep your inner light bright, to be self-illumined and connected to source, connected through your ancestors' umbilical cord back to the beginning and to keep your own light really bright if possible because there is a lot of Sagittarius energy around as well we've got Saturn and the Sun and then the coming new moon if you have a strong inner light then practice pulsing that outwards practice actually being a beacon of that brightness at this time of year because darkness isn't bad it's just the unknown so 95% of what goes on around us is beyond our physical senses, literally in the darkness, beyond our awareness. And within us, the darkness is our subconscious. So there's nothing scary or bad about the darkness. It's just because it's slightly untangible, slightly unknown. This is the time when we need to go in and do our subconscious work and to actually face that with our inner light, go in like the hermit card and actually illumine ourselves from the inside and clear away any shadows that are lurking. So a very deep week, we can see there's a lot going on politically as well, a lot going on in the world, but it's very important this week to have a look at being the opposite of any negativity that you see. So the opposite of cruelty, for example, is kindness. With everything that you see going on around, can you just make a promise to be the most kindest aspect of yourself, to counteract, to create your own world with that bright light, with that warmth, with that gratitude, that generosity and that kindness to become the light in the darkness. 
So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Very important to be a true and clean and clear expression and to ramp up and amplify and send out your brightness, your kindness, your warmness and create the opposite of what you see being inflicted from the outside because we are all here to keep that balance and it's not the case of well what can I do each one of us can actually contribute in our own way so beautiful beacon there of Sagittarius the wise one linked rooted with the ancestors pure of heart getting ready to re be reborn at the winter solstice so by the end of the week we have the new moon in Sagittarius and this is the opportunity to be that hearth fire because that's what Sagittarius is, it's the fire in the heart, it's the fire in the heart of the home which is the hearth and it's where we gather round and we share with generosity and wisdom. So can we stoke that heart fire and really bring out that warmth and that power from within on the new moon in Sagittarius on Friday. Then by the weekend we have Mercury into Capricorn, so we have a chance to actually tune in to a bigger mission. Capricorn loves a mission, it's the sun's climb up the mountain from the winter solstice to the summer solstice. It's that long vision, it's having a journey that's of value and taking one step at a time. So with Mercury going into Capricorn at the time of the new moon, then we can actually begin to set some intentions now. We're stoking the fire within and we're taking the first few steps on our new journey. So the theme of the week really is authority. Do you accept authority from the outside or are you your own author? Do you create your own world? Do you answer to your own inner, higher, deeper power? So a beautiful new moon there on Friday in Sagittarius with Mercury going into Capricorn, full steam ahead once we've actually created the passion and the power within and not to get caught up in some of the negativity that seems to be going on on the outside but to make a point of taking back your power, taking back your authority and being that bright light and making a difference from the inside out. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week. As we approach the winter solstice and the Christmas festivities, then I would just like to mention that I have all my readings and courses and membership to the online group available as gift vouchers. So if you'd like to give somebody a gift that will last them the whole year, then please do contact me for a reading or a course or a membership voucher because this is something that can be given in December and can be worked with and walked with for the whole year. And while we have Saturn in Sagittarius, it's a wonderful time to learn that the old arts and astrology is like the fabric of the universe. It's something that keeps growing and we keep learning with that. So in the mystery school systems, it was know thyself and there's no better way to do that than to begin by starting to learn your own chart and to learn astrology. And for me, astrology and tarot go hand in hand like two wheels on the same bicycle. So that's why I've created tarot courses as well for those that like to be able to see the visuals as well as the scientific side of things. So all my courses are taught with videos and notes and with access to myself for questions and answers available on Skype for the readings across the world. So anybody that's interested, please do contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com.